it is too far away from the Earth. Where we're putting the Webb telescope is a place called L2. And uh, if you think of here's the Earth, here's, here's the Sun, um, L2 is on the other side, a million um, miles away from the Earth. The full moon is between us and L2. That's where James Webb will be. It's four times the distance to the moon. Fifty years ago, they say we went looking for the moon, and we found the Earth. Yeah, right? that's true. That picture of the Earth—that was really the beginning of the modern environmental movement, right there. One of my favorite little lakes. There's an eagle circling around in front of us. In grad school, I asked the question, what does the Earth look like from very far away when you can't see the continents and the oceans? And can you actually tell that there is life on that planet? So we looked at the moon not too many days after new moon, when you can just first start to see that thinnest crescent right at sunset, you'll notice that the dark part of the moon is also visible because the Earth is shining on that part of the lunar surface. So if you take a telescope and you look at that light, it's Earth light all jumbled up together. It's the land, it's the ocean, it's the clouds, the air. And when you spread that light out and look at it, you can plainly see the squiggly line that this is a planet that has a definite clear oxygen line. And there's definitely carbon dioxide and there's methane. Those signals were all tangled up together in the colors of the Earth. And that was what we call the spectrum of a habitable planet. 